So what I see events like this, um, the purpose that I see all of this serving, having women up here talking, is, uh, is we are sort of the, uh, the shield maidens, I guess, at the front of, of the charge. We, are, we have to put ourselves into a position where we can actually convince regular, ordinary, everyday people to open their ears and listen to what these men are saying. And that doesn't mean we're speaking necessarily for these men um, in terms of uh, being a voice for them or, or appropriating their voices. We just need to sort of uh, work, work things in a little bit, you know, soften up the audience, um, soften up the attitudes, and maybe then the public will allow men to talk about their own experiences without that knee-jerk reaction. And I think that that's probably the most important thing about having women uh, participating in events like this or speaking out online or speaking out uh, to their friends, to their families, to uh, their co-workers, uh, to writing letters to their legislators. Um, to their to their MLAs and MPs, um, doing all of those things. Those are the things that we need to do because, for reasons that may become clear as we continue the discussion, uh, it it's really next to impossible for men to do that for themselves, and it's not because they're doing it wrong. It's because there's no way for them to do it right, um, not on this topic.